Let's look at question 7a. The marks obtained by 10 students in a test scored out of 60 are shown below. And you have all of them here. 29, 38, 26, 42, 38, 45, 35, 37, 38, 31. For the, de <coughs> for the data above, determine the range. Okay, so remember the range is the largest minus the smallest. So what's the largest mark here? The highest mark. I could have said the highest minus the lowest, right? For the 45 looks like the highest. 45 minus. Alright, what's the lowest? Lowest would be in their 20s. Uh, 20s, 26, 29, 26. Right. So that's the highest minus the lowest. Alright, so that seem to be these seem to be the numbers so it's a matter of 45 minus 26 at least what 19 it looks like all right then they ask for the median now remember the median would be the middle number. You get that if you have an odd number of items or an odd number of values. But if you have an even number of values, then there will be two in the center. So let's see. And that's after you arrange them in order. So 26, 29, no more in your 20s, 30s. What's the lowest 30s you have? There's a 31. Alright, so, so far you have 26, 29, 31. Then 35. So you have 35 here. Uh... I see 37 and there are three 38s so you have 38 38 38 so you have 38 38 38 then 42 and 45 these seem to be all the numbers so let's see which is the median. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's an even number of items. It's 10 of them. So let's say you have 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right. These two are in the middle. So let's put some brackets around them like that. You could do that if you want. These two would be in the middle, 37 and 38. So when you add these, 37 plus 38 and divide by two, right? We're going to get 37 and a half. That's halfway between 37 and 38. All right, so that's one thing you that you could do. You could say 37 plus 38 equal, and that you divided you divide it by two, you get 37.5, 37 and a half, right? After that, now let's see what happens. The interquartile range. Just erase these to make some space, and you want what they call the interquartile range. So, 
you basically have the two sets of numbers the bottom half and the top half now the interquartile range would be Q3 minus Q1 the first quartile and this third quartile the third quartile will be 75 percent of three quarter or three quarter the value so we have the lower 50 percent and the upper 50 percent the lower 50 percent half of that is 25 percent so we see which number is in the middle of the lower 50 percent have one two three four five of them so 31 is Q1 at the lower 50% at the upper 50% I mean 50 to 100 percent half of that is 75 percent which would be halfway between 50 and 100 percent that's one two three four five numbers the one in the center is 38 that's Q3 so in this case would be 38 minus 31 38 minus 31 so in this case you have 7 as the interquartile range good then after that what do they ask for the probability that a student chose not random scores less than half of the total marks in the test the total marks available was 60 so you're looking at the probability that they score less than half less than 30 half of 60 would be 30 so they score less than 30 all right let's do some erasing to make some space here these 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 now these numbers are already arranged in order and these are the scores how many students are there again total number of students was 10 10 of them so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten students. So the probability of scoring less than half of the sixty uh, of the sixty marks would be how many scored less than half of 60 which means how many scored less than 30 divided by the total number of students available as the total number of students there there are 10 how many scored below the pass mark one two of them one got 26 the other one got 29 everybody else got 30 or more so it's two out of 10 which is the same as one out of five one-fifth right so the probability is one in five is one-fifth let's see what else is happening here part B so we'll move on to part B at a later time so I'll see you